Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mings. And I'm Cyan. You're very- holy shit, you're loud. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, like, speak into the mic or something? Uh, that is generally what one does when you are speaking to record. And, uh, yeah, today we are doing uh, tea time with uh, Cyan's waifu right here. Marianne! Honestly, not even my waifu. I just want her to have a good life. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um... We had like one activity point left, and after exploration, we got chugged straight into a mission. So I was like, you know what? This is a good time to start the episode. Like, I think Calvin Sexton would like to see me tea time, Marianne. Uh, so, um, I'm gonna try to do a few more double uploads of Tree Houses, uh, on, at least on the days I'm not streaming Binding Blade. And in order to do that, I brought Sign on because, you know, there's only so many times me and Gas can record. And if you guys want double uploads, it's gonna have to be a little bit with Sign. So, I hope you guys are fine with that. You have to deal with me. You have to deal with him because the ghast is very busy with his own projects. So, uh, yeah, let's offer her some tea. You're going to help me through this one. You claim to oh, know I, Marianne? I know all of my dear. Oh, really? I know all of them. I am, tea, I am the tea god. You're the I'll tea master. Okay, all right. Well, heard some gossip, ghost stories working together. Uh, I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not the tea master. Help me! I heard some gossip, I think. Gossip, gossip. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. You know, she doesn't strike me as a gossip girl. That's interesting. I, but then again, I know shit about this girl. Like, I literally don't know. I, I've never seen a Marianne support. Well, a few. Uh, hopes for your future. Dinner invitation, you seem well. Uh, I think hopes for your future would work. Wow. Will we get the creepy tea time? Strong battalion, someone you look to up to, Fodlin's future. Uh, I believe it's Fodlin's future here. Wow, you really do know your waifu. But we're not done yet. Oh, she, she looks, looks like she gets more and more nice Okay, do we disagree, uh, chat or side? Did, I, think, I think she said spending time with me must be boring, so I disagree with her. Wow. Bow before your tea god. Perfect tea time. This is it, guys. I've reached peak tree houses. Yes, this is this is what Kaga wanted. Yes, observe face pets. Mmm. Yes. Hi, hi, Mary. Oh, she's she is pretty. She she is a she is a cutie. So nice and warm. This is still. I'm just happy that she doesn't look like constantly sleep deprived anymore. Yeah, that's right. Her bags under her eyes are gone. She finally graduated You're university. Good at this sort of thing. Ha <laughs> This is how humans interact. Yes. I'm, I'm imagining Byleth just standing right next to her face. <laughs> Hand oh, on I, her chin I going, I have hmm. a lot of fucking... You know what? She likes lilies at the valley. She does. I will put my lily on her valleys. Ah, uh, yes. Innuendo. <laughs> Forget me nots. She apparently likes those as well. All right, I have a lot of lilies of the valley, so wh why not? Like, I'm not sure what the benefit to giving gifts in this view is. I, I don't think it gives you any more bonus than just spamming them with gifts. I mean, in the it would be interesting actually if, depending on the tea time, the gifts would be more efficient. I, it'd be nice if you were limited with the amount of gifts you could give someone in the monastery. Cause yeah, so the tea time would allow you to give more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'd be a use for tea time. Yeah, that would make sense. I also kind of dislike the fact that, like, you go over to a girl, like, okay, we all, like, yeah, giving her a rose might be good. You give her a hundred roses, and I think she'd just be a bit creeped out, honestly. Especially if you give them in succession, you know? Here, have a rose, yeah. have another rose, okay, have another rose, okay, have another, like, it's not how humans work, honestly, but, uh, it's a dating sim game, we don't need human behavior in this. Alright, so, uh, we're gonna be doing the first mission here. Nothing happens in the meanwhile. Who it? Ooh. Oh, it's your husband. All right, sorry guys. We have we have to we have, we have to go through this again, guys. Oh God, am I? I am I the tea god? god? Okay. Will you get me oh. through another tea time? Sign. I will do my best. My gratitude. All right. Gilbert. I know very little about Gilbert, but I sh I shall do my best. These are good leaves. You know, I'd remove my gauntlets during tea time, but that's just me. Indeed. The cop's hot, man. Uh. I think okay, he, I'm guessing equipment upkeep would be the same bet. That would, yeah, he likes it. He has the support with Dimitri where he's like equipment. The opera, the ideal relationship, shareable. I should take myself away so we can see the time. <laughs> opera? Uh, Does he like opera? I, I'm i gonna guess snacks. 
Yeah, he is. Respectful. He is Annette's father. Oh, true. There you go. I didn't even think about that. Uh oh, go two perfect tea times. Gifts you like to receive, things that bother you. The ideal professor. Hmm. I'd guess the ideal professor. He seems a little uptight. Wow. Okay. I enjoy a bit of fishing. I hear you do as well. Uh, uh not? Nod? Yeah, you do. Bow before your tea god. Simon, we should make a tea guide. I could. I could I could <laughs> teach you all how to become the tea god. So what is he like? He likes animal? Uh, I have no idea. But isn't the star rating indica indicative of how No, no, that's the, just the quality of a material. Oh, I don't, really? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I think it correlates to price in a lot of cases. I'm just and gonna myself. try. Oh, he likes goddess statue. Oh, that makes sense. Landscape Thank painting? You. Nah, not really. Blue cheese? Thank you. No, maybe I he mean, likes everyone sweet. likes. Everyone likes gotcha, so you could give him an owl feather. An owl feather? Oh, right. This yeah. Is, yeah. Hello, summoners! This is... Okay, let's observe him a little bit. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha These are good leaves. Ha 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 ha! Blah, blah, leaves, blah, blah. Ha 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 ha! I find it interesting that he has a little Thank bit of stubble on his chin. Professor. He does! It's he a nice does. detail. Yeah. Most people in Fire Emblem are either, like, clean-shaven or rocking a magnificent beard. Very true. All right. Oh. Oh! Oh! Well, gotta there you do, go. Gotta do Dear this. Dear goddess, I ask for guidance. Professor, you're always watching over me, aren't you? Oh, you noticed when I stared very, very... <laughs> I spent my entire oh, life your face. avoiding people. Speaking to others was so difficult for me. I don't know if this is the so A support or the B support. Be alone. Uh, Animals and the goddess the were the only ones I could really open up to. Do you remember the time you asked what it was I prayed for? Thanks and protection? Yes, but that wasn't the case. Back then, I felt that my life served no purpose and that I was nothing more than a burden. In truth, I was begging the goddess to take me to her. That mm -hmm. was my Answer. daily prayer. But now I fear the idea of dying and being left alone. I have friends who accept me for who I am now, in spite of my crest. And I have you watching over me. I finally learned to accept the kindness and warmth of others. It's because of you, Professor. Because of you, I've decided to live. Aww. I'm sorry to have worried you, but I'm all right now. Even if I'm separated from you or any of my friends, the memories I've made here will give me the strength to continue on. You should look to the future instead of the past. Um. From now on, we'll work on this. Am I just like quoting in like a inspirational manual or something? You've got like oh, dummy's guide to I'm teach sure you in your back. You can do it. If we're together. Do 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 do. <laughs> All right, nice. Now I can fuck Marianne. Uh, but right. now that I'm listening to it again, uh, I feel like that support conversation really would have done well after her paralogue. Dear Goddess. Yeah. Please yeah, allow I... His Majesty to. Yeah, maybe it should, like have been, should maybe it should have been locked behind a paralogue. It probably should have, if I'm being honest. Who is it? Oh, Professor. What brings you here at this hour? I heard your voice. I I don't know. You were praying I'm very most loudly. Sorry for disturbing you. The hour is late, Professor. You should be resting in preparation for the day to come. What are you doing? I was offering my prayers to the goddess. It is all that I can do now. I told you I was in service of the royal family, yes? When I was only a young soldier, the king saw fit to make a knight of me. I was given the great honor of guiding and protecting the royal family. Hmm. Protecting? Indeed. I served in that post for nearly 40 years. I instructed oh, wow. both King Lambert and Prince Dimitri in the arts of combat, tactics, and academia. I also did all in my power to keep them safe. Until that day, I was unable to fulfill my duty. I was powerless. Uh-huh. Tragedy of the Scar? Yes. When I received word of the attack, 
It was already too late. His majesty was dead, along with many knights and soldiers. If only I had made it to Dusker more quickly. It is my fault that His Highness Dimitri has become the way he is now. You know, it is a tragic thing, but I've always had a bit of an issue with people who put a lot of blame on themselves for a situation they honestly had little control over. Like, if something was strong enough to wipe out all these powerful people, do does Gilbert really believe that he would have made a difference? I, I, made under it. I can relate to the pain one might feel for being powerless, but I was never a big... This is a trope we see a lot in Fire Emblem. You know, if only I was there, His Highness wouldn't have died. Most likely, Gilbert, you would have just died as well. I know it's not easy to think of it that way, but I, that's, I don't know. That's how I tend to react just, every time someone starts to self-pity. He just probably wanted the chance to try and make a difference. Maybe he couldn't have saved everyone, but mm. perhaps one person would have made it out alive. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, After you, that, you got a good I point. I abandoned my wife and child and fled my homeland. I turned my back on everything I swore to protect. My sins yeah, you did go out, from go out for smokes. I will bear the weight of my guilt for as long as I live. Gilbert just went to the stores to buy cigarettes and milk. Never came back. You're yeah, going I don't about think God's this. gonna help you there. Nah. Apologizing to my daughter and wife. Devoting myself to his highness. That is the way to atonement. And yet, even if I am granted the forgiveness of those who still live, praying is all I can do to atone to those who are with us no more. Praying will help you atone. Wow, this is surprisingly cynical. Long ago, there was someone <laughs> who told me something quite similar. <laughs> Forgive me. This will not do. As I grow older, I find myself talking endlessly about the past. But it is too late for such things now. I have finished my prayers. We should return. You know what I missed, Sion? Mm. Mm. Old characters. I really Just like saying. having some old characters back in Fire Emblem. It's nice. You get a different perspective, You're especially wrong. when those el older characters are mixed with younger ones. You really do. I mean, um, and yeah, just, I really like having some more experienced characters. It makes for a lot better storytelling. I really like Gilbert, actually. It's not like that, Glenn. Oh, I no. swear it. Any love I once had for my stepsister has been tossed aside. He's talking to the dead people. Only Can you hatred need a hug? remains. If I could tear that woman to shreds right this very moment, I would. I don't care if she's the Emperor. It's no different than killing anyone else. So I beg you, all of you, do not worry about my resolve. Please, God, he's crushed father. by guilt. And you too, stepmother. Do not gaze at me with that look in your eyes. I will bring you her head soon. And when I do, you may finally rest in peace. I know it. Yes, I know it. <laughs> Snap out of it, Dimitri. What do you want? I came to check on you, dumbass. I see. We should Dimitri, make haste you need to a hug. To just... out at once. I think Give if I hug. tried I to hug him now, he'd kill me. As soon as possible. I don't know, how, how high is your defense? <laughs> we must first prepare. We have no time to leisurely set up camp. If I must, I will go by myself. Honestly, my Dimitri might just be able to kill everyone himself. He's pretty Pardon busted. The interruption. We must prepare a counterattack at once. The Imperial oh, Army has caught wind of our position. It would seem they were patrolling this place after all. The Imperial Army, is it? Well, well. <laughs> Black metal music starts playing. Your Highness. Oh my god. I ask that you please refrain from reckless behavior in battle. Dimitri's gonna charge to the front lines of power metal that the blaring in the background. Have returned was accurate. What? This is going to take uh, some effort. Wow, Randolph and Bloody Slava actually have dialogue? Brother, huh. I know, Flesh, I sorry, not, that there is a not them. Murderer among our enemies. Oh! Wow, I actually oh. never thought she'd say anything. Well, this is interesting. Truth to it. it was only alluded to in the Golden oh, I admit we have lost some soldiers recently. Whether he's among like them or not, taking on the Knights of Seros is extremely dangerous. You're not ready for the front lines, Flesh. Flesh, okay, that's how you say it. Understood? No! 
I want to stay with you. I have Ooh, to- Weird pronunciation, actually. I need you to understand, Flesh. I will come back, I promise. This conversation is so full of death flags that I honestly don't think you'd get another flag on top of it if you tried. <laughs> that flag is pretty damn scarlet. Yeah. Like, Fine. he, he gone die. <laughs> I trust you. Yeah. Please. This is, this is like death flaggy, the death flag combo. All units, prepare to attack. Still, I do like that they're fleshing out the NPCs. I, I love it. They, I, I was, I complained in, in the, in the Crimson Rose that what's the point of having Randolph and Ladislava there if they're not gonna do anything? Mm. I mean, I understand the need to have generic generals, but that's just like, I don't know, could just make him into a gen nameless general from, for my sake. All right, that's let's see thing. if we can actually become a Falconite. Um, wait, maybe we yeah, don't have any. At the top, you have. Ha. Ah. Wow. Yeah, so you don't need a lot of sword rank. You do need a shitload of lance rank. Yep, turns out I do. So Dimitri can maybe be... Nah. Dimitri's Felix... just gonna trample people. Felix already has the power of God in anime. Vibrenor! Oh. Ah, uh, I... <laughs> let's do it! Yeah, why not? <laughs> 30%, let's go. Plus. You're not hurting on money. Uh... uh... Ooh! Oh my god. What? All right, the Hail Mary worked. And now let's see those class growths. Wow, that's... Oh, okay. Well, didn't Ash just didn't have any. Didn't have any, I guess. And uh, I think that's it. Yeah, probably. I think I uh, forgot to promote Flame. Might as well make her into a bishop, because I sometimes use her as an adjutant. I don't know if it matters. Probably not. I don't not. know exactly how adjutant heals are calculated. I would assume I, it's somewhat based off of your magic, but it could very well just be a percentage. It, it seems to me like it's just like a 50% hit point heal. Oh, oh. lordy. <laughs> Part of my desk just fell off. What? How? It's a problem for future me. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was so funny. Alright, um... Alright. Mission, protecting Garak Mach, apparently. I didn't know that's what we were doing, but I get... Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Right, now I get it. This is like the opposite of the Crimson Rose. Yep. Fulfilling a promise made five years ago, your former student gathered one mother at the monastery, as to the knights. However, your joyful reunion is cut short! Let's go. So, I can already tell how this at is gonna go. At the monastery go. at Garrig Mach, the Kingdom Army proceeds to bolster its forces, but the Empire is already one step ahead. An Imperial Vanguard, led by General Randolph, has deduced oh. the location of the Kingdom Army and now advances with the aim of toppling Garrig Mach for a second time. I really wish this chapter of you was used more often. With full little chess pieces. Yeah, yeah, it's been pretty good so far, honestly, in the Blue Lions. Uh, in the Crimson Rose, it didn't happen as often as I wanted it to. Um... <sighs> But, um, yeah, no, it's been... I think we've gotten one for every mission in Blue Line so far, so I actually really like that. Oh, everyone wants to be Bishop this week, apparently. Okay, heal bot. Ahoy. Bishop, Gremory, Warlock, Falconite, Mortal... Oh, Mortal Savant's fifth, huh? Interesting. Uh, people like anime mangs. <laughs> yeah. Protecting Garrick Mach. Chapter 14. Must protect. So precious. Oh. Okay. All right, um... I guess I'm using Setheth, and uh, we're using Raphael. I don't know, I want Eloise of Adjutant. I think I'll just use Flame. Mm, who, need, who wants healing? I guess Gilbert? Uh, Why not? I suppose you could use it if you're going to be using him in the front lines a lot. Yeah. All right, so I see, I see how this is going to go. Oh, God, I love the battle prep music, though. So fucking good. It's growing on me. I didn't like it at first. I thought it was a downgrade from the Gen 1. It, it, it really picks up. Um, I want... Okay, so we're gonna have... By left here. I guess I could I could just do like a full squad of flyers. That'd be kind of funny. There you go. That looks pretty good. I don't uh, know why they work. insist on putting Balath there. It's kind of weird. Uh, Dimitri scared the shit out of her, so <laughs> she is getting away. I guess, yeah. She is not the school's guidance counselor. Alright, let's go! Route, Victory okay. route. 
It's a route. The Knights of Seros are a powerful enemy, but we have more soldiers. Kill every we'll last take them one. Down all at once. I still haven't seen it. There are more I'm enemies than expected. Attacking with fire would prove most useful here. Okay, Arvis. Attack. Do pay oh. attention to that. The enemy oh. has entered the periphery of Garrig Mok. Huh? Oh. Reach the interior. We won't be able to protect the monastery. Drive them back. Wait. Attack with fire? So this isn't something that you have the ability to do, but I'll cut through. just know if you drag your feet, because I'd look at enemy stats here, because I would imagine that they aren't always pushovers. Okay. I mean, everyone's a pushover to Felix, so that's not entirely fair, but you can see like Pegasus or Falcon Knights are running around with silver lances. Some of the knights oh. are pretty beefy. Huh. Well, let's see how Felix does. I think I might have my animation stuff. Yeah, there we go. What you do? All right, time to watch the power of anime. Uh, ooh, actually, I've heard that the Mortal Savant's magic animations are cool. Mm, yeah, a little, a little, a ah, little, a little slow. If I'm gonna be honest. To be I mean, all of the animations in this game are super <laughs> anime. <laughs> I did. I was literally a cockapunch in the jutsu. What the fuck? <laughs> Coming off of the magic circles of <laughs> fates so, and awakening. That I is think that so fucking funny. I seriously like that must have been on purpose. <laughs> oh right. wow! Did, did my orders kill everyone, isn't he? That's the plan. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> He's gonna kill everyone. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> He's got 41 strength. Oh. Oh god. Oh boy. Uh, oh you... <laughs> boy. Oh, let's fucking go. Oh. I now pronounce this cavalier the deadest Too guy ever to once world. exist. Whoa. Also, people have been nagging me to check out his. Yeah, so uh, he, he gets a better skill. All the lords yeah. do, which is kind of nice. Um, so yeah, he gets 20. So it's basically better Ferdinand skill. Which is kind of funny. I don't know if anyone I'd else gets honest. boost. I know, like, post time skip, everyone's stats are increased by a certain amount. I don't know exactly how that's calculated. Uh, based on what I heard, they get a couple of extra levels. The only way. I don't think it's... So they might Make get, like, a couple of generic level ups. Oh, that's what it is. That's part of the reason that someone like Cyril is actually so bad if you don't train him. Yeah. So... aptitude isn't factored into his level ups post time oh. skip. Fuck. What the hell? All oh, right, weapon triangle, not a thing in this game. No, you know, I'm going back and forth it. between Binding Blade and Three Houses is not fun. <laughs> so having played a route and a half, what's your opinion on the removal of a weapon triangle in a non-remake? I kind of miss it a little bit. I'm gonna be completely cool. honest, I miss it. Like, I... I sort of, um... Like, I don't... I, could we not have just gotten it back? Like, it, I don't know. I'm grateful. I understand what they were trying to do in that they were taking the weapon triangle, which is almost What's always in a player's favor, and change that strategy towards combat arts that are locked to weapon. Mm -hmm. But combat arts, in my opinion, are not so impactful, like weapon to weapon, that they really make up for the lack of a weapon triangle. No. And, uh, and also, um, I mean, the breaker skills are nice, don't get me wrong. And I certainly think they're worth a skill slot, but it sometimes you feel a bit bad to like like Ready you have to spend a, a skill to like have something that was already in the game. I agree. I I think a good way of going about it would be to I it might have been Shadow Dragon or New Mystery that approached Weapon Triangle from this angle, but at lower weapon ranks the Weapon Triangle is less in so you're not punished early game for going against the weapon triangle as you, you know, can gain your footing. Mm -hmm. But Ready late game, uh, you need to take it into account. Like, if you're against someone with an A and axes and you've got a lance, they are going to wreck your shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I, I like that a lot. And, um, hmm. yeah, it's uh, it's weird. Like, I, I honestly, I understand why they removed it, but I, I it would be interesting because, you know, we're getting Abyss. Oh, what? Huh? Oh, oh, he's uh, on a weird magic one. So, we're getting something called a. <laughs> okay. We're getting something called Abyss Mode, which is uh, interesting. Oh my fucking god. This is. 
This is the most anime animations. Next. This is. Oh my god, I can't get fucking over this, man. This is so. Oh my god. I wish god. his dodge animations had him replaced by a log. Ah, <laughs> 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 is so good. Wow, Gilbert is. He sure feels like Douglas. Um. Fuck, what was I saying? Yeah, I, I I think the new Abyss mode would be a fun, like, I don't know what it's gonna entail. Oh, nice. Anime! <laughs> but yeah, like, as I said, with the Abyss mode, it would be funny if they, like, I don't know, made it like an option to include it just to see how it would affect the game, you know? Yeah, like Radiant Dawn made hard mode where it removed a weapon triangle to make it more difficult. Yeah, because which was the game complete... was originally designed around it. Yeah, which is complete BS. <laughs> but oh yeah, no, I just it killed Edward. Anyone who doesn't use an axe is fucked. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, f I get the feeling Edward would be a lot better if weapon triangle was a thing on hard mode. Oh, hundred percent. It's like, oh wow, here I am. I'm oh, okay, thanks Things for the green units, I guess. Yeah, if I have memory serves, I think they're pretty, pretty okay. Okay. Should I kill that guy? Uh, I believe it's... Oh. He might have said something, I might have been spacing out, but I believe if you kill the guy on that ballista... Okay. I'm going to use Mila's turn wheel to repeat the conversation. <laughs> See, this is what Divine Pulse is designed to do. soldiers to their destination. God, we have too many of these. Okay. Right. Okay, so if you kill him, I believe reinforcements will cease. Okay, I, I believe friend. that's the implication. You know, I don't. I know rallying Felix. Sorry, girl. rallying Dimitri is complete overkill, but I can't help it. It's too much fun. What's the plan? Um, I'm a little bit sad Sylvain doesn't get dark spikes. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, it's it's weird. You're getting so much freedom in your classes and just you know, flexible unit options, but. Yep. Because magic is so limited and the difference between the usability of spells orders. is so great, mages are one of the few. <laughs> You're fucking spiting her. <laughs> Dad of the year! <laughs> I don't know why, I just really want to do this. I mean, it got her in range. Yep. This is parenting done right. Um, but yeah, you you're right. From Braille, just beat the shit out of your kids. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, yeah, no, magic Magic is very limited. Like, Treehouses is very limited and very free at the same time. Yeah, but I'm not sure that they have that the freedom and limitations in the right place all the time. I'd be no. It's like, oh, we have a sandboxy game. You can do anything. Okay, can I do... No! Not that. I miss weapon restrictions from the it's my classes. Duty. It made the classes themselves feel more unique. To be fair, I only almost it's ever exclusively strategy. use weapons, um that are meant for the classes anyway, so I don't really notice it. I don't I really know why, I just, I, I do. Maybe, I mean, it maybe makes sense, because you need proficiency in a weapon to well. rank up. So it's like a soft weapon limitation. So yep. Wait, why is Seth effective against this guy? Uh, is it like a combat art, maybe? Oh, Night Kneeler, yeah. Oh, okay. No! How about brave, brave, brave axe maybe? Ah, that works. Bomb, bam. No! Not quite. I have something to ask of you. Learn to hit. I can... Oh, good level. Yeah, it's a good level. He's got good bases, honestly. And for someone with such good bases, he's also got pretty okay growth from my recollection. Hmm, if only there was a way to check. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Gotta get someone to design me some growth charts. Oh wait, I did. Um, yeah, I mean, and you, also you have to also apply the, he's survivor and rider, right? Yeah, I don't think he's a weapon. Yeah, no. So he gets 10% more strength. Oh no, minus 5% magic! Ruined. I'm surprised that wyvern riders don't get a penalty to their speed. Yeah, I mean, like, it wouldn't, wouldn't be the worst if you were to, like, nerf them yeah. a little bit. Yeah, mm. <laughs> But Mortal Salon, no, 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 you cannot double. It's weird. With heroes, I kind of thought intelligence Ready systems had realized that movement is the best stat in the world. They don't watch Mecha's videos. I'm afraid not. 
guess was like when we last heard uh, Chasing Daybreak. Um, he was like, oh my god, da Chasing Daybreak. Such a cool. Oh, uh, oh, oh. oh no. Uh -oh. oh no. Ah! Get out of the year. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, he was saying, like, oh my god, Chasing Daybreak is such a good theme. I can never get enough of this. And I was like, well, Sam put it in all the preview videos. So I'm kind of tired of it, even though I never heard it before. Oh. You're tired of it. <laughs> I'm sick of that song. That was like the only thing available. It was. It was. We I'm had. Like, oh. <laughs> oh god! I edited like halfway through those character previews. I just started editing on mute. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We had practically nothing. Um, there was very little soundtrack, and not only that, Nintendo kept fucking taking it down. They still do. Yeah, there, there's an entire meme of... Yeah, this is this not. Is like, this is, they, their videos are called, like, this is not. This is a three-hour FE4 appreciation compilation. Yeah. I honestly... Really? Um, all right. I, I don't actually know why... Um, why they've never been this aggressive on music before. Yeah, that's... It's Great. making me think that Nintendo's gearing up to put their tracks on Spotify or the like. I'm actually sort of worried that your end screens might one day get me in trouble. But I think they're short enough I to the point where their automatic systems don't really... Yeah, I mean, with video game music, the reason it is so good to use in YouTube videos, from my understanding, is that obviously the video game music is playing right now in this yeah. video game. So if they That's were to strategy. have super harsh copyright claims on them, mm -hmm. people just wouldn't be able to show off their game, and that would be counterproductive. Yeah, Granted, even for a even, even Nintendo was kind of yeah, even for Nintendo who doesn't really seem to Another understand picture. the concept of gaming on YouTube, like they, I honestly think that the CEO of Nintendo are still sitting around like scratching their heads, like not really getting the whole concept. Don't yeah, ask me. Don't ask me why. I just them. get the sense yeah, they don't will. get it. It's like, how oh, people play our game on? Uh, I don't know. Like I, I don't. That was a very bad Nintendo voice. Like, they, I don't know, like, they, they just, they don't seem to get it. It's, because they keep, like, doing stupid shit. Like, you know when they released, like, Paper Mario, they, they started, like, purging speedrun channels? Do you remember that? No, I, I didn't even hear about that. This was a pretty big controversy. It was a long time ago. Um, basically, what they did was... Uh, just use a Brave Lance. It's got better head than the Brave Axe. Yeah, um, yeah I just used Knife Mule on the Brave Lance. Shoot me. So, right before Paper Mario came out, or Mario Maker, it was some sort of Mario pro Mario game. I'm not, I'm not a Mario fan, so I don't remember this, but it was a Mario game. And what they did was they started purging Mario speedrun channels from YouTube because they saw are. them as... I, I have no clue what, what, what their reasoning behind it were. I'm your girl. But it generated a shit ton of controversy, and uh, people just were like, Nintendo, why you do this man? Yeah, that's... Really, really counterproductive in my eyes. Mm -hmm. So I get, I just get the sense that Nintendo, do, they don't really, they're really good at designing games, but they don't really get the internet. Yeah, I mean, if we look at any of the servers for their online games, that's very good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's hope she survives this time. Well, the, the cab is what killed her, so I think she'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, honestly, the. The animations are so good, Treehouses. Like, I, I really see you could put a lot of effort into these. Ah, uh, dick shot. I dispose of doubt. Weird. This is built off of the Warriors engine, which is a game that, in my opinion, has fairly good animations at times. It does, actually. Surprisingly good sometimes, too. And hmm. you can see, like, with a Pegasus Knight, for example, they pretty much just copy pasted Cordelia. Yep. <laughs> like her icon her iconic pose from Awakening where she's got that lance behind her, mm -hmm. one arm in the air. Yeah. Like, yeah I think yeah. that's her Figma oh, pose or her whatever yeah. statue pose. Yeah, it's her. Like it's that's a, the victory uh, one for Pegasus. It's Pegasus. very Cordelia. It's extremely Cordelia. Oh. Thank God for being able to move and dismount and dismount and move in the same turn. Oh god, you know, you were so What's close to figuring out that flyers were super good. Mm -hmm. So close. Mm -hmm. Now I know. Uh, let's see. Let's just rally him. Thanks. You know, I really should fight more with the net. But god damn it, I love rallies. 
I just mean, so it's, much fun. it's not awakening, but they're still pretty damn good. Poof. The smite sound sounds so savage. It really I sounds mean, like he's just like swatting them aside like a fly. I mean, think of it this way: like a normal mage can move four spaces in a turn. Yeah. Ah! You are essentially yeeting them half of their maximum move. Yep. Ow. Also, okay. Ow. The Pegasus I think might. She's gonna die. Yeah, she might if the, if the, if the thing hits her. Yep. Look. Oh, the stone thrower died. Not, not the green unit. Seriously, I swear to God, I know I have a hammer equipped, but fucking hell, the Pegasus Knights are so fucking fast in this game. Oh yeah, no, Pegasus Knights, Assassins, they are terrible. When you play Maddening, every time you see a Swordmaster, you are just going to have Nom flashbacks. <laughs> oh boy, they keep coming. Alright, ladies like and gentlemen, ladies, gentlemen, Gilberts, and uh, Sethets, and everyone in between. Um... We're going to take a break and continue in the next part. Will we kill Randolph, everyone's favorite waifu? Find out. What should they design? Like, subscribe, do things of that nature. Tell Mangs why he's doing everything correctly. Yeah! See? Encouraging comments. Alright, I'll see you guys. Toodaloo.